yeah, it's just very unfortunate for me. Uh, close to 20 years in our sojourn for democratic uh, liberation. Mm. We're still talking about personalities, we're still talking about irrelevant issues mm -hmm. to win election, to convince the electorate, mm. to make the electorate poor. Mm. Than, rather than richer. You know, uh, all those issues shouldn't be, be it PDP, be it ABC, mm -hmm. those are not issues. You can't change my own perception with, I as a person, you can't change my perception with such tribal issues. sentiments or issues. Okay. We, I believe that 20 years is enough for us to have grown with that. By now, the way the voters, we should be questioning. If somebody should come now to tell me now that yes, after 20 years I will do road, I should be questioning that person that you don't need to. You are not supposed, you are not entitled, you shouldn't be contesting for that office. Because I can't see the role you are constructed. Because you, because you have not done that role for 20 years. Okay. So these are things that they shouldn't even use as campaign for us. You shouldn't use personalities as campaign. You shouldn't try to damage the image of a political party. Mm -hmm. Let tell us what you have in store for us. What does PDP have in stock for negotiations? And for Nigeria. And for Nigeria. And for Nigeria in particular. In particular, you are so I'm, 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 I'm a faculty editor, so I know I would prefer it that way. Okay. So, so we bring it We on. should know. That these are things, these are the issues we should be talking about today. Okay. It is not on our Kumi did this, uh Olavi did this, Fatima did this. No. The what do you have for us? What did you have for the people of Ifakojai? What did you have? What is your incoming government mm. and in quote yeah. have for the people of Lagos State? Okay. And if you want to take over Nigeria, what are you prepared to do okay. that this government is not doing now mm. to change the status quo? Okay. Uh, then can I conveniently assume that you are telling us and our viewers that that is not a good approach. It's not a good strategy, it's not a good strategy. Both both for both parties, for it's, both not both parties. Part. it's not a good strategy for okay. me. Let me continue. Yes, Very uh, briefly, yeah, let me quickly uh, corroborate what uh, Kamui June has said. Mm -hmm. I think he's right by saying so. If you look at the whole political setting in our country, you discover that uh, we, we try to build individuals instead of institutions. Okay. Uh, each time that you know, we are approaching elections, we begin to see you know, politicians attacking themselves. It is to tell you the level of partisanship in our democracy and I think it is time for us to stand up and adjust this. We need a paradigm shift if exactly. really we are serious about this democracy issue because 20 years into this sojourn, mm. I don't see anything cogent that we have been able to come up with. Nothing impressive. Nothing impressive at all. We keep on attacking personalities here and there. Instead of being talking about policy, we should be talking about policy issues. Instead of talking about one person that's collected bread from the no, that is not that shouldn't be a campaign strategy. Yeah. But unfortunately, that is where we are found ourselves. So we need to raise up and do the need to. Okay. So um comrade to you on a very privileged. Yes, thank you very much. You see, I don't blame the parties that are coming up with personality attacks. Uh, attacks. Oh, they they build it on, if I may use this word, our intellectual um kwashoko. I use I just borrow the English. You know, because you see, when they see that when this kind of news or information is being passed to you, you accept it and you celebrate it, they will continue doing it. Because now, if PDP comes on board, what they will be telling most recently now, what I've been hearing, hearing under PDP is we have double Bukwari, we have double Bukwari, and we have a Sudan, we have Bukwari for Sudan, one is for. Is that what we need at this level? No, no, no. So, no, hey, so that's what, and, and, and they've seen that. The, there are so many Nigerians that celebrate these issues. Say, why is fake? Why is no, there are not many. No, there are many. No, there are few. Okay, many. There are many. Okay, there are few. So, okay, so now we see these are the kind of things. And if you see most of them, I'm sorry, sorry, sir, and you have your time. Most of the people that believe it, they are unintelligent, and most of them have 
you know, hidden agenda. That was and most of them are even from the southern part. I'm sorry to say, I mean, <laughs> southeastern, you know, part. Okay. I'm not, maybe I'm so, not to be there. We have to say the So, there's a lot of songs from the southwest. See, no propaganda is propaganda. We should get, we should get to a point. I believe that by now, right, from 1999 to date, we should have gotten to that point that, yes, our level of propaganda should have, should have come to, to the barest minimum. Almost and we should be telling the citizenry the facts, campaigning with facts and figures. And figures. Okay, let me go back to... So, so, as I was saying, even the citizenry themselves, right, do they really love the truth? Because in the aspect, you know, when at times you come up with some truth and facts, mm. they will still come up with irrelevant issues. Now, you, you might be talking now, somebody will now refer you to Tim, but it's still good at You talk about, you are talking about the government policies, why this government is doing this, this, this and it's still good at the thief. Is this not a thief? Is the, the factual not still money? You know, is that what the citizen will? That's why, I'm, I'm, that's why I said this word that mm. many of us are suffering from intellectual kwashoko. Because if we know what we are doing, eh, we can weigh A and B. We can compare this is A, this is B. Why should this be like this? We can ask questions. If you don't have power for 48 hours, you have the right to ask some questions. You know that it's alright. You pay the bills, but you ask questions. Okay. And at the end of the day, people will not be throwing stupid things to you. Okay. Um, let's go towards our closing remarks. Then before the close, closing remarks, or let me say, we're going for our closing remarks. But while making our closing remarks, I want you to make reference to some areas. I want you to touch some areas. And one of such is, do you envisage violent, violence-free campaign as we approach the presidential and the national assembly campaign, uh, campaign and even the governorship and as of assembly. And what I'm asking this question is that what we experience during the primary, if we can have serious violence during ordinary primary day, during uh, the general elections, what do we expect? How do you see it? And do you see our party leaders, the candidates, Having a campaign of which maybe now that they have, they have had you, they've had the, the three of you, do you see them having a change of mind? Now uh, have a campaign based on issues, not on personality attacks. So you are closing it and let start with you. Yeah, good. They don't really have a choice. We are in a jet age now of IT. Mm -hmm. And I just like that word you used, violent free. And that leads us, because I'm so passionate about this local government, to be honest. And that leads us to this issue of campaign against courtism, anti courtism, and drug abuse. Okay. That the CSP, backed up by the British High Commission, is handling presently. We want to make it for quite a if we let us let us talk to these boys. They should not be used as a political tools. Are you getting me? Sir? I'm with you, sir. They shouldn't be used as a political tools. Honestly speaking, the incoming MHR or whoever they are voting for, their children are not dogs. My own children can never be dogs. Mm. Why must I allow them to use my neighbor's children are stuck. It's a crime against humanity. Yes, it is. You know, so our political leaders should be watchful, should be mindful of these facts. That yes, we have gotten to a stage in our democratic setting that we must present the facts and figures to the electorate. If you are qualified, you are there. If you are not there, it should be a blood, I think. Yes, then go and rest. Well, wait for another time. Beat any political party. Okay. Okay, uh, Comrade uh, Alaba, Shuba, and they. Well, I want to agree with uh, what Comrade Jude has said. Uh, if you look at our political structure, you can understand that you know, with, the way we, with the way we politicize things mm -hmm. in our environment, you know, 
it has really paved way for violence. Uh, looking at you know, what happened during the primary, you know, where you know, it was mad with a lot of violence activities and all that. So I cannot say that you know, this is going to be a violent free campaign because, I mean, what happened then was nothing that. Probably will be multiplied. We will multiply. So if care is not taken, it, it, may, it may even degenerate into something that we never even expect. Mm -hmm. So I will urge all the political parties to ensure that, you know, the issue of attacking personality is taken away and to stop using our youth as thoughts you know, during the electionary campaign. The youth, the youth, they also need to be sensitized too because these politicians that are using you are just uh, working on your psyche. They have their own children that are schooling and prop prop and using you as thoughts here and there. And after the election, they will dump you. So I think we should just try and imbibe that spirit of peace and tranquility and ensure that you know we have a very peaceful election. Okay. Okay. Comrade, to your Yes, I not uh, actually the elections coming on. It might be it might not be voluntary because a lot has happened and uh, as a result of a parental failure. Because you see, when these guys are not available to be used, I don't think anybody can come and use my kids now. So it's not possible. It's not possible. So, but because so many parents. Had failed in doing what is needed from them. So these guys are there. There are tools. There are tools, a lot of tools to be used. That is why you see any money people drinking, smoking herbs, all corners. And these people, when you approach them with little 5,000 or whatever, they are ready to do anything. So the parents had already failed in their own primary assignment. But now, going back to the politicians, they, their children are not available for something, but everybody should be able, at least if we know this thing is bad, why should you be doing it? And you are doing it because you say you want to represent me or you want to be my governor, then now you pay somebody to go and kill or to go and disrupt that election, it doesn't make sense. And the government should put in maximum security. If we have good security, you know that if this thing is being tried, you will be apprehended and you will be apprehended and jailed. I know it will make people to have a rethink. So now what we should focus on now is that the political players, the contestants, the parties should preach peace. That is the thing that can save us. But the tools are there for them to use as a result of parental failure. Okay. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? If you haven't, Please log on to youtube.com and search for Ifakoja in television with. Click the red button and please do not forget to turn up. You can also connect with us on any of our social media platforms, website www.ifakojaetv.com, Twitter at Ifakojaetv, Facebook Ifakojaetv Lagos, Instagram Ifakojaetv, email address ifakojaetelevision at gmail.com. My name is Mr. Padangala and I am those Ifa Koyi Television. Ifa Koyi Television, the pride of the people. Ifa Koyi Jaye, Ifa Koyi Jaye Television. Ifa Koyi Jaye, Ifa Koyi Jaye Television. Bamba la janta awo ki luma olu wa lo fi ron wa ade o ki o jote ye ke ye. Kai! Ifa Koyi Jaye Television. Eh, ema wo, man be po be, file be mo, Ifa Koyi Jaye Television. Television. If I could die, 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 if I could die,
from the commercial break. Uh, don't mind me, I was carried away because there were hot discussions while we are on break of record. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes don't be rest, I should have read uh, of records, I might be recording you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't record you. Okay, so now, uh, before we go further, you, our viewers, you know we cherish you a lot, we love you. Because without you, we are nothing. And we want you to always participate. And you know the way you do through the feedback. And for you to contribute through our feedback, we have many options. Uh, we have the our YouTube channel. Our uh, YouTube channel is if I could get television glitch. If I could get television glitch. Our website is www.ifakotaitv.com. Facebook, if I could I TV. Lagos. If I could I TV Lagos, you can also follow us on our Twitter. Our Twitter handle is if I could I TV. If I could I TV. Instagram, if I could I TV. Uh, our email address is if I could I television at gmail.com. And our phone number is 08051964461. 08051964461 or 0703-743-9891, sorry, 0703-743-9891. Um, during the commercial break, we were discussing, like I described earlier, uh, okay, it was hot. But then look at it, let's look at it from this angle. Do we now blame the parents or blame the government? And apart from that, let's look at violence in Nigerian elections. Who do we blame? Just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You know, I'm blowing out of time. I'm even I'm already out of time. Yeah. Who do we blame? I will blame the government. Why? And when I'm talking about government, I'm not talking about government of Buhari alone. Okay. I'm talking of successive governments. What our leaders have been doing mm -hmm. all along is to impoverish the people so that they can stick to power. Yeah. It's I a agree. crime, it's a sin. Mm -hmm. And for people like me, we've been fighting it and we keep on fighting it. But we have not been successful. We've not been successful and we keep on talking. We keep we on opening one day, day we so we keep on opening the minds of the people. Mm. Our children should not be used as talk. Chief Abolowo of Blessed Memory, may his soul continue to rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And we should be. You see, somebody asked him years back why this free education we are introducing in Western region. Do you know his reply? All his four or five children were in a, in UK studying. He said if he fails to educate the people in Nigeria, his children will not make use, best use of the certificate when they come back to Nigeria. Yeah. Our leaders should start thinking likewise. Likewise. Okay. Whether you like build mansion, put your fence mm -hmm. above board. If you don't do the if right you don't thing. Do the right thing they will bring it down. Okay, thank you. Let me stop right there. Complete the Alaba Shuba name. Well, I want to elaborate on what Comrade Dude has said. I also want to uh, lay blame on the government. Uh, looking at the successful government. Why government? What of the parents? The successful government has really failed. And no, but don't blame the government alone. Yes, yeah, the parents have their own fault. The parents have their own, the the own, have their own fault. But you know, holistically, if you have to look at it, you have to. Blame the government okay. because the government has not been doing well in the area of education. Looking at this, even in all areas, also in all areas. So, looking at these things, you discover that some of them are not educated. That is why these politicians are leveraging on their psyche mm. for them to perpetrate, you know, violence mm. here and there. Mm -hmm. So, if they are well educated, I don't think they want to take up the you know, for the election. Okay. So, that is a problem. So, the parents who have their own, you need to take care of your children mm. and ensure okay. that they don't go beyond. Okay. Uh, come to your yes, sir. Very I'm, not, I'm not exonerating the government at all. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But the parent has a lot to do. 
Could you imagine some parents even follow their kids to write exams in exam halls to bribe and do a lot of things? So you see, when, when I put this thing on the parents, government has government has its own faults, I agree. But the parents are the major contributor to what we are having now. I if, think the reverse is the case. No, the government has the government has the the government has the the government no, I will no, tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. Turn out in a long time. Let's see. It's yeah. my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not. I've said it. I'm not. No, but I'm just telling you that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exonerating the government. I'm just telling you part of what your parents do. Are you getting it? Which is not good. Which is not good. So if you know the way you you give an example on Abafemi Aulo, right? He puts things in place for the children. But what kind of success now, 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 even, 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 say, at, that, even, yeah. even at that time, I will not did that. We still have a lot of parents that are not responsible, like what we are having now. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying government, government have done hundred percent. Okay. But the parents, if government is not doing, we the parents should not be leveraging on that okay. government, government, government. Okay. We should try and okay. try okay. our our, our, uh, mm -hmm. our best. <laughs> okay. So that is it. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Comrade Tuti and Alaba, and I want to thank Comrade Alaba and Comrade Jude Undo, because each time we call you, you are always, uh, you know, available. And you viewers, we thank you so much for your continued viewership, because uh, we have to confess to ourselves and confess to you that you have been wonderful. You have been wonderful between us, proud, making us uh, you know, proud. But before we go further, let me give credit to the following people. First and foremost, we want to give credit to our chairman, editorial board, Itai Mustafa. He is presently in UK. We thank you. We want to thank uh, Comrade Tunji on the lap, or he is a member of editorial board, is here with us. Comrade Shumri Taiwo, member of editorial board, I think is in Benin now, as we speak. Pastor Monara Mustafa is a member to IMD Mustafa. He's a member and secretary of the editorial board. I don't know what Karim is in uh, uh, South Africa. Uh, he's a member of the editorial board. We thank you for your support. And we want to thank Emmanuel Arubuto, who's the head of programs. And the person behind the camera today, we want to thank you, Samuel Ishola Fallo. Samuel Ishola Fallo, he is now. He's smiling. He's, he's, he's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> But before I go, I think I want to quickly uh, advise our political elects. You see, this position you are seeking is not, it shouldn't be a do or die. And you don't have to keep your own children in safety places and use other people's children for violent activities. It's uncalled for. It's uncalled for. And you don't need to shed anybody's blood before you achieve your objective. And you see these objectives of yours, you can achieve it today. And what if God takes it away from you? Please, let's have a peaceful campaign, election campaign, and let's have a peaceful election. You win, you win. If you don't win, go back to your house and do some other things. Whether you are APC or you are PDP, you are APDA, or this PDP, whatever party you may belong to, the interest of our people is very, very paramount. And the interest of the country should also be paramount to you. Who do you want to govern? Dead people? No, please. Let us think. Go back home. Now, you are getting the message I'm speaking on behalf of the other panelists. And I think we, we are concerned with their concurrent that please, we don't need violence. And this campaign that is starting tomorrow, let it be campaign based on issues. That is, issue based campaign. Not individual based and not attacked. The one you have in uh, Rock is debris. Uh, uh, article is uh, yeah, is, article is uh, fraud. No, it's not the issue. It's not the issue. It's not the issue. 
when Atiku was in office as vice president, you can use it as a campaign basis. What did he do? Yes. Why the uh, Wari is in office? The VP is there. What has he done? The vice presidential candidate, candidate of uh, uh, PDP, while he was governor, what did he do? And all, those are the things we need. We need not personal attacks. Please, God Almighty, will be with all of us. Uh, Comrade Judy, I want to thank you once again thank for coming. You. Thank, thank you very you. much, sir. Comrade Dahaba. It's a pleasure. God bless you, sir. Comrade Judy, another Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, Our viewers, once again, we thank you. And we say bye bye for now. Oluwa lo finran wa ade ori oke o se te keke oruko mi ni damlola mustafa ifakoja e television e ma wo na ifakoja ijaye ifakoja ijaye television ifakoja ijaye ifakoja ijaye television banda la santa awo kilumo oluwa lo finran wa ade oke o jo te keke